Hello and welcome. And uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, borders uh, for your widget. So there are like a number of ways you can add borders into the widget, but the most common way is to wrap your widget inside a decoration box, okay, or decorate decorated box. Um, however, you have container uh, widget that actually already contains a decorated box uh, as a, as a, as a property. So uh, it's built in and uh, you can basically use that uh, to set your border uh, as for actually for your convenience and stuff so we're gonna we can actually uh, uh, look at that and we're gonna use that convenient property uh, to create our borders around containers so let's get started i'm simply gonna create a stateless um, widget here called my app or stateless class or with widget extending stateless widget Okay, and uh, we can create our material app first. All right, and we're gonna add home scaffold. Scaffold is gonna have app bar, so we're gonna create app bar. We're gonna have title, and uh, this title is going to be text widget borders. Okay. And then we're gonna have body. Uh, this body uh, is uh, element is uh, uh, basically body property is going to contain a container, and this container is going to have margin, and this margin is going to be edges all ten points, and then it's gonna have padding as well. Ten points. It's gonna have color. Colors dot light or light green maybe or orange actually orange it's good and then we're gonna use uh, we're gonna first set child to be text okay and uh, this is going to be my text for example and it's gonna have a style text style font size is going to be 20 points font style is going to be italic okay so we can save that and uh, let's make sure everything is Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, create our decoration and we're gonna tell it to be a box decoration. Okay, inside this box decoration, uh, we're gonna give it a uh, border and border is going to be uh, border all. And uh, we're simply gonna start here, so border all. Now, if you run this app, you're gonna notice uh, that uh, it'll create a border around our container. Okay, so nice, it's launching. Uh, Xcode build is starting, and let's give it a, a few minutes uh, to basically launch and sync the files into into the simulator. Right, so build is complete, takes 16 seconds, and now it's going to basically launch the app. And there we go. All right. So, uh, there we go. Oh, okay. There's a crash. Okay. All right. So, we need to decoration, new box decoration. guess color is conflicting with it so I see yeah so color is actually conflicting with that so uh, that was the issue all right cool um, so 
So that's very strange. Um, so we're gonna give it colors dot orange. And there we go. Okay. So because color is part of the box decoration, this was actually conflicting with the container. So that's why I was showing that error. But yeah, there we go. Uh, we have our um, container with a border. Now let's say if you wanna do uh, things with this border. So for example, what kind of things you can do? Um, you can give it a width. For example, let's say give it two as a width. And uh, or four. So it's actually really thick. There we go. That's much better, okay? Now uh, you can give it a color. And uh, you can say colors dot deep orange, for example. So as you can see, uh, the color has changed. If you want something a little bit more distinguishable, you can just give it light blue. Okay, um, so what can what else can you do? You can actually define sides. So uh, you can basically have border dot left. So uh, let's say, so take a look uh, here. So you have a uh, border box. Um, and uh, you can have border shadow and stuff, uh, gradient and stuff, uh, okay, border shape, um, and uh, you can give it like a rectangle. That, that's, we are getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, so let's um, give it a, a side. So here's what we're gonna do, is uh, we're gonna get rid of all this. Um, okay, we're gonna say border dot basically sorry yeah, like this and uh, we're gonna say left so this is gonna give border side and uh, border side is going to be color colors dot deep orange for example I want to give deep orange for some reason for left side and uh, width is three, for example. So if I do that, I have left side with three, uh, with two, 10. Um, okay, that's better. So you might have seen this kind uh, where you have like only left side. Now you can actually, very similarly, you can do the same thing with top. And um, I'm gonna copy this and basically get this light blue. Okay, so it started started to look like a 3D box. Uh, if you give a uh, deep orange, uh, that's what it's gonna look like. Um, okay, so, um, so you can do top, uh, you can do left. So you can do like, you know, bottom and, um, similarly you can do bottom and for the bottom, you can actually say that I need a slightly less uh, of the width. There we go. So uh, that's our that's your bottom, and uh, then last but not the least is left. Oh, we forgot the right. So we should have done left, right, top, bottom. But anyways, who cares? Uh, uh, we are learning something new here. So okay. So um, you're gonna give this. Uh, one maybe okay all right so that's good okay so as you can see uh, you can actually individually control border for uh, for your box okay so um, what else uh, can you do uh, you can have a radius okay so let's go um, back and uh, I'm gonna actually remove this and I'm gonna go back to border dot all okay and I'm gonna give it a bit uh, three points, right? Then I'm gonna say border radius, uh, border radius all, okay? And I'm gonna give 10 points here. Okay, if you save, um, oh, border radius, oh, so this is not a number, it takes radius dot circular, and this takes a number. Like so, okay? So there we go, our uh, border.
order is uh, is uh, has now a radius in it like it's not a rectangle anymore right and uh, if you want uh, you can actually keep going until you see like you know the configuration that you basically want okay so uh, so yeah so that's uh, that's about it for like you know uh, uh, borders uh, you can do like you know pretty much anything so I would actually encourage you to um, look into the box decorations um, uh, class definition or documentation and uh, you get like you know most of stuff uh, that you want to do you can get it around here okay so thanks again for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks again